wanted to go live because I made a post this morning that's really stunned, that's really, really crazy. But it, it just, to me, it always it go back to show that what the issue is. So let me tag people in the answer. This is what it's about. I, I made a post asking why dark skin girls do the most when it come down to like, when they out with, like, you know what I'm saying? When they out, when they come down to, when they out with their friends, for example, and it's like a group of girls, light skin, dark skin. And a lot of times be like one or two dark skin girls in the group. And I'm and my post was asking, I'm gonna get the exact one. It says, this is my question. It says, why are dark skinned women so fast to do extra to get attention when you the one that's the best looking woman in your crew and on the planet? Open debate. Now, first of all, from the beginning of this whole conversation, I'm asking, because my first the first thing I said was I'm asking, it says, why are dark skinned women, right? So my first couple posts back was from light skinned girl, from a light skinned girl, who I'm saying like I understand, but first thing you need to do is understand that who I'm speaking to exactly and what demographic I'm speaking to. So the first post I got back for asking this question, right? And I'm not asking the question out of idiotics or I'm guessing and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm asking this question because of something that not just me, but many men and even other women that I know and I've talked to them about the same situation. So I asked this question, why do dark skin women feel like they got to do the most to get attention, right? And I'm asking this on a multiple level, not just on no disrespect. I see a lot of people is like, well, you know, I got one post back that was like, well, you know, I think that this goes for all women. I never denied it was for all women, but I'm specifically asking dark-skinned women, right? And I'm not talking about what you at now. I'm talking about from the beginning, starting from when you was 10, 11, 12 years old, when you was in the 6th, 7th grade, you know, when peer pressure, when you had the, you know what I mean? And then on TV, all the girls light-skinned, the same shit going on now. Now, in this statement, the, what I say at the end, I say, even though you're the best-looking woman in your crew and the planet, so I give you, I'm giving you a compliment. So from that perspective, if my people read, you will realize that I'm not coming at dark-skinned women. That I, The only thing that I'm saying to dark-skinned women is I'm asking a question that I noticed since I was younger. And not just me, but other women, right? So the first person that responded like, you know, well, this is this is not just dark-skinned women. It's all women. Yes, but we have to be real with ourselves and say this is an um, all-woman issue. But when it comes down to dark-skinned women, this is a little different. And, for, and I feel like that's what I call selfishness, in my opinion, of like, of, 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 of this shit. Like, yes, it applies to all women, but in the conversation when somebody's acting directly and speaking directly to a demographic of the women, a, a, a exact fingerprint, if everybody don't have the right to speak up in the same manner, because if you light skin, you had a different experience in this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's not about who better, but the truth is you had a different experience. So when I get posed back and I see like a lot of dark skin women, like, well, they kind of getting offended by it. It's not to be offended, you know what I'm saying? Because what I'm saying is that at the end of the day, like the first girl, let me tell you exactly, I'll read it exactly. The first person says, so I'll show you what I what I mean and why it's misread. Not that I'm mad. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what did she say? She said, this is not a dark skinned woman issue, it's just a woman thing, period. Now I wrote back, I'm asking dark skinned women because it affects them differently, right? Which it does. When we younger, as a dark skinned girl, just like as a dark skinned man, it's still similarities here, right? So when you grow up and y'all are like people arguing with me, but don't understand where I'm coming from completely or not arguing, but that's why I think people get offended. When you grew up since you was five, six years old and you're a dark skinned girl, when you looked on TV and seen all these light skinned girls and all these white girls and all these people that are so-called beauty. And for people and any dark skinned girl get up on this page and argue with me, you talking about yourself. You're not really talking about the masses. If that's the case, if black women are so confident, then why are they walking around with all the hair color that's not of a black woman? Why are they walking around doing a resemblance of everything that embodies a dark skinned woman's natural form, right? So that's one, right? But when I'm saying, first of all, if a light-skinned woman, a white woman, all other women on the planet put themselves in this issue, I say, yes, this is a self-esteem issue. Yes, all women, she, like she said, all women uh, do this to try to get a man's attention. But I'm saying, like, this is a little bit different. I'm not asking, I'm not specifically talking about why do dark-skinned women do this to get a man's attention because that's out of, that's out of, uh, not what I'm saying. I'm saying that in a group setting, when you with your homegirls, a couple light-skinned, you know what I'm saying? Different shades, but the darkest girl in the group, I know, because I know a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? From multiple places. And when it's all said and done, when I got them one-on-one, -on -one, they let me know that they was a little, shit they said let me know they was insecure. You know what I'm saying? And I say, I understand because I understand when you look on TV, that's not what they're showing you is beauty. Right? But in amongst your crew of girls, eight, nine of y'all go to the club, the dark skinned girl, a lot of times, not every time, but on the majority is the one that I used to always feel like, yo, why are you doing the most? Like, why you feel like you got to be the loudest one? Why you feel like you got to have the less clothes on out of your friends to get attention when you're beautiful? All right? So that was one. Now, the answers I get back let me know that my, that, that women are not there with themselves. It comes back to the same conclusion, regardless of anybody get mad. All right? Are y'all reading this? Why are dark-skinned women so fast to do extra? So if, if, if any dark-skinned girl could come up here 
and tell me that they don't got no dark skinned friends, even if you the one out your crew that's confident since you was little, right? You trying to tell me that most of all your dark skinned friends when y'all was going out, they don't do the most at times? Because they feel like they got to do more to get attention? That's what I mean. If we, if all the Dawson girls get on this page right now and say, nah, we confident, y'all flexing and y'all fronting in my opinion, right? Because I'm not attacking y'all. I'm saying that I, as a man, I'm the one that look at y'all as a, as a man in your culture, right? When I see y'all and I've been out growing up since a kid and a teenager, it's kind of like, I used to always feel like, yo, like, man, she the beautiful girl in her crew. But it's like the light-skinned girls get all the attention from all the niggas. So that's why, like, the Dawson girl had, like, the most mouth for the one that felt like they got to do the most. And our community, that's what, that's what we see. I had a conversation with a Hispanic man from Mexico yesterday, and he asked me, can I, he was, this is what we were talking about. He was saying, like, you know, when he watched TV, they get the perception that, that black women, especially dark-skinned women, ain't nothing but sex symbols and just want to be touched. Right? And he said, I mean it respectfully. When I watch TV and I look at y'all, it makes us scared to even communicate with y'all. Right? Like, you feel me? It's like one moment, it's like nobody wants to be real about the conversation. It's not me attacking it. It's just, I'm asking a real question. And I honestly feel like as a dark-skinned nigga, if you're a light-skinned woman and you come in here and you don't understand that this is a dark-skinned woman conversation, then you're being selfish, right? That don't mean that you don't have an opinion, but when you come in and say, oh, that you can't discard it because if you light-skinned, you ain't went through the same pressure as them dark-skinned girls. So stop putting yourself in a category just because you're a black girl. Every level, y'all can't flex on me. I don't mean no disrespect. Don't flex on me. Keep it real with me. We're the women that's going to keep it funky like, yeah. I did not feel pretty growing up when I was 13, 14, because all the light-skinned girls got their attention to TV. That's how you feel because that's how it's marketed to you, just like as a dark-skinned nigga. You feel like you got to be dark-skinned. Men go through the same shit. Don't get it twisted. You might not see it on front street, but a lot of dark-skinned men not confident. You know what I'm saying? That's why men do what they do, always going out here to look for the white girls and do all this other shit. But I'm asking dark-skinned women specifically, not because I think I know it all. That's why I asked the question, but I was not attacking anybody. But I get answers back from all from a lot of dark skinned girls like, well, wait, well, how you how you said this kind of offensive? How is it offensive? How is it offensive that I'm bringing it to the light, but not offensive when you see your homegirl do it? And that's what I always say in these conversations. It says no because we carry ourselves differently. That's not a color thing. That's the particular female. You know me and seeing me my whole type and based off the females you know and had and actually with no nah, no. Nah. That's why I say, your yours was the last um, post up there. But if you look above, which I'm pretty sure you did, and you look at the answers, like, read their questions, right? And you'll realize, well, like, it's like somebody said, uh, I'll give you an example. Because I get you. I've never seen you as a low self-esteem. But I'm saying I'm saying that I know you, right? So that's you. You always had that feel. But when you looked around as the whole, all the Dawson girls in your school, did you? Did everybody carry that same motherfucking confidence that you did? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you always been like, but did all of them. You know what I'm saying? That personality is what it needed to be on, but... It is wrong if, if we talking to dark-skinned men about how they was treated in slavery or whatever, and then light-skinned men came up here and be like, yo, this is not a dark-skinned man issue. It's a light-skinned man issue. Out of, it's just out of pocket, morally. Because the light-skinned niggas had a different experience than slavery. This is my point. See, we, we, even though we all might consider ourselves black when it's time to struggle, but when shit defend, the light-skinned niggas, when shit defend, them niggas, they felt like they was better. And even today, a lot of light-skinned people feel better. Sometimes even dark-skinned niggas feel, I'm not separating, but this is reality in America. <clears throat> If this don't exist, then why the fuck we still hating on each other, killing each other, shooting each other, you know what I'm saying, all over the same shit? It all, it all stems from that. I tell you, I know. When I say I got tosses, I know. Listen, I remember growing up in school, this happened then and every year, no matter what school I went to. You know what I'm saying? Girls be fighting. I, I went to the hospital with my homegirl. Right? I even said her name, my homegirl, Wendy. She from Raleigh. Like, she, she like, she dark skinned, you know what I'm saying? But she pretty. And her father was sick in the hospital. And it's these three light-skinned girls at the, at the nurse's station. And she trying to get to her father. So I'm in there and she asking questions. But the whole time we in there, they over there side eye and they're like. And I'm like, yo, Wendy, for real? And she was like, this is what I be trying to tell you. You feel me? Women be so focused on the wrong shit. Like, I know because, see, I'm just a nigga to speak on this shit. You know what I mean? I know for a fact. I know for a fact as a man. See, see y'all women, as a man that got to get. See, when y'all with y'all homegirls, a lot of y'all homegirls, they show y'all who they want to be and they still like, y'all know y'all girls, but y'all don't know y'all girls like a nigga who they fall in love with or a nigga that they with know them. Just like, we know our homeboys, but we don't know our homeboys like the girls that they fuck with, right? Because to, to my homeboys, when we together, we all confident, but they tell the insecurities to their women in some sense or certain shit that a woman can see. You know what I mean? Not so much of a disrespect. So that's why I was saying like, it's not, I wasn't attacking and I'm not speaking on, I know for a fact, I know I know in every city, it's a bunch of dark skin girls that from the time they was little was confident. But in the, on the scale, when I say, when I put this as a whole number, y'all are minorities in this group. 
And I'm speaking not to not to hurt, but I was speaking on the fact, and maybe I should have worded it better. I'll take some blame. So I'll be clear. What I was really trying to speak on was the fact of the matter. Why do y'all feel that y'all not enough? You know what I'm saying? I was expecting the answer back, like, is it the TV? You feel me? Is it because of uh is it because of what was going on? Is it because of the men in the culture? Those are the answers that I feel like I was get back. Not so much I was getting back answers like, you know, when she said you're insulting all the dark skinned women that feel uh dark skinned women feeling inferior. But the inferior complex, right? That existed because of what happened when we was colonized by the Europeans, right? You, so, you, so I want y'all to understand that where I'm coming from, I'm speaking deeper than just a black man trying to pick on the dark skinned girls. For me to have this conversation, that means I give a fuck, right? So I know this, like growing up, it's like, yo, I, yo, you beautiful as shit. When I get a one-on-one, -on -one, like, yo, you bad as hell. But, you know, that's the type of shit that we don't get. You said it's like a backwards compliment. You speak for women and not women. Take your interaction with women and came in contact with and make the statement and such. No. First of all, let me say this. First of all, because this is what people get me fucked up, is that one, one, I'm, I, when I speak, I ask the question to women, but I never got an answer, right? See, in, in, in today's time, women so focused on not being offended that we can't deal with these issues. Like a woman that say, don't judge me by my body, but y'all walk around here butt naked all the fucking time. So what else do you give a man to look at with his eyes? Men are physical. You know what I'm saying? Now, y'all looking at me, half the time I had conversations, you know what I'm saying? I'm telling y'all some real shit. You can't, y'all can have these conversations in front on TV, but you can't have a conversation with a real motherfucker who know. When I say I got 12 sisters, I I really do. You know what I'm saying? From some down here, some in New Jersey, right? My interactions is from all over this country. I traveled the country growing up. I didn't live in one place, right? So when I'm saying this, when it says, when I'm speaking on it, I'm identifying a problem that y'all are hiding. And if y'all don't want to speak about it, cool. Feel me? You feel me? It says, and, and that's fine. At the end of the day, if a black man can't come up here and have this conversation and we can't get this out on the board without all of the sideways gestures and shit, because I, I, I see the comments and y'all taking shots at me instead of taking this opportunity as a platform to speak your mind, to understand why black men feel like we can't reach y'all sometimes, respectfully. You know what I mean? I had this conversation because you don't see no niggas on the internet having these conversations like this. I do because I got a lifetime of talking to my sisters and all my homegirls. You know what I'm saying? If you know me, then you know I'm really like this in person. This is not an insult. The insult already exists in the culture. The inferiority complex started back from when, from when I was colonized and they changed the planet and, and made the, the light-skinned girls and the white girls more pretty. I didn't create that. And if we're going to sit here and argue with me about it like it doesn't exist, that's, 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 that's kind of cold, right? Now, I understand maybe that maybe it's coming off, and that's why I'm sitting here explaining to y'all. Instead of getting fresh, I'm explaining. Dark-skinned girls. Please tell me that when y'all was growing up, y'all did not feel some way. And if y'all can't admit to that, cool. But we know. The real motherfuckers know. We're telling you that we love ourselves and you're arguing us about it. Okay, I'm going to tell you why. I had a conversation. If y'all as a whole love yourself, then why don't the majority of y'all walking around with your own hair and shit? Why the majority of y'all walking around with blonde hair and wigs and shit? It go back to that conversation. If y'all love yourself so much, then why are y'all doing everything but yourself? You feel me? See, y'all can come up here and argue with a nigga that's not woke, but on a spiritual level, if y'all if y'all y'all tell him y'all to the public, y'all saying we good, but when y'all go home in y'all door, you feel me? It shows. And, he's, and when I see shit TV and I see the Dawson girls getting butt naked and doing all this shit, right? I ain't talking about what you do for your life, because I'm talking about in general, right? Because niggas think I'm judging. Right? Whatever you do, that's what you do. But it don't mean that a real person or a man can't come up here and have a conversation because y'all grown ass women. Right? This conversation should be something that y'all should be catering to your daughter. If you choose to live that lifestyle, that's your fucking business. You grown. I ain't got no offense to it. The way I live my life, you grown. But to this conversation, this is more important about the girls after you. Y'all grown. Y'all made that choice already. My generation already said, fuck the morals, fuck life, fuck everything else. And that's why black women and black men not working together and we dying. Niggas dying on the corner. Black men going to prison. Niggas ain't seeing their kids. Niggas ain't taking care of their kids. Niggas fucked up. Women putting money over shit. Men putting money over shit. Clothes, fashion, everything. You can't convince me. If women, if black women love themselves so much, why our culture so fucked up? Right? Because y'all the leaders of our community. Argue with me with that. Because then y'all say, you, you know, when somebody say, well, you making it like an inferior. The inferior complex exists already. For y'all to get up here on this internet and act like y'all not, that y'all don't have some sort of inferior complex is a front. That's a front. That's like a black man getting up here and saying, that's like, that's like I'm having a conversation with black men and all the black men get up here and be like, yo, 
Nah, we good. Nah, nigga, we not good. And I don't give a fuck with no black man say we feel some way. Every day we wake up, if you can't identify, every day we wake up and we see how they did the light-skinned boys from slavery to now, right? We see how they did the white boys. We see the different attention. We see the different love we get when they approach them and they approach us. If, if a black man, if I was to sit here and make it seem like, nah, bro, is it because we embarrassed? Right? So I'm asking out of respect. When I see all my sisters that tell me that, that because you just, because my, my sister, Queen said, we're telling you that we love ourselves and you're arguing with us. You damn right. Because when I go outside my door and when I turn on the TV, the majority of the dark-skinned women got blonde hair right now, got blue hair, orange hair, you know what I'm saying? All this shit. That's not a black woman. Y'all forgot what it, let me show you what a black woman look like. Cause, uh, clearly, y'all don't know no more, right? And it's fun, it, that's what kill me. You know, your hair, your hair, your nails, your shape. The planet already admires you. And they done convinced you that you needed to look like a goddamn white Barbie doll with cosmetic surgery on your face. Right, now, and I'm saying this because at the end of the day, that's just flexing. He said, me ain't gonna have to talk about this on the live for real. Nah, I feel you. But, but y'all get what I'm, I hope y'all get what I'm saying. I'm not, I wasn't coming up here to say, dark skin girls, y'all insecure, y'all fucked up. Da, da. I came up here to say like, yo, <clears throat> I'm tired of seeing my dark skin girls go through this. I got a daughter. You feel me? You know what I mean? And before I had daughter, I always been the same solid nigga. Like all of my friends know, I ask these questions, right? Because this was, a, this is the opportunity for the dark skin girls to speak their mind. You know what I'm saying? Saying like, you know, let me give you an example. A dozen girl come up here and be like, you know, I feel you. It, it exists. Because you hide it in the bottom of your subconscious and act like it don't exist don't mean it don't exist. It exists. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't tell me that that, that y'all love yourself, but every day I can see you don't. And it ain't that I'm picking on you. I feel the same way about black men. I feel the same exact way. But you can't say if we see when we having a conversation amongst each other, we can't even get it together. But on a universal platform with the Hispanics on this side, with the with the Europeans on this side, with the Irish, because we got to be right. Everybody not white with the Africans on this. And when we get when we get all of this together in a universal room and we have a conversation, you're going to realize that I'm just a person to speak on it. But the rest of the races around the planet want to figure this out. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I'm a dark skinned man. So I walk around. I know my sister's not confident. I see what you listen to. If you run around and making a style in your thing, your mind fucked up. If you running around because these body yada yada yada, your body ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Your mind is. You know what I'm saying? And I'm an artist. I'm a rapper. That's why niggas, a lot of people be like, bro, I can't believe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The culture dying. I'm watching niggas left and right destroy the culture. Destroying the world. You know what I'm saying? And all of this go back. So let me just say this. Because my only point of this whole thing is saying that, please, let's talk about who going to be real with me? Let's talk about the insecurities that dark-skinned women have growing up that the world gave you. I'm a man. I didn't give you the insecurity. I didn't create that topic. You know what I'm saying? I just spoke on it. Right? Yeah, and, and it's not so much that I'm, I'm never... When I come up here, I'm not here to discredit. I'm actually here to see because I want to... It's, it's, it's there's light-skinned women with pink wigs, you right? What are you saying? They got spirits, low self. It's set. <clears throat> okay, when I speak on skin complexion, right? I speak on a, on what we understand, right? I can't speak on nationality because most of us up here don't know what nationality is. So I got to come to my people on the aspect of what we was taught. We know skin. We know dark skin, light skin, black people, white people. That ain't even how the world work, right? You know what I mean? They ask you who you is. You say you African American as if you from two continents and you not. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's, it's these factors. You know what I mean? The fact that the, the, the whole thing is this. Let's go back. Let's start backwards. Will y'all agree with me that when you grow up that the TV and stuff do not make you feel some way? Do, do y'all not really feel like y'all not light-skinned enough? You know what I mean? Like, if you ain't got that thin-ass hair, that's not dark-skinned woman shit. Let's be real. The thin, thin hair, like the, the barbie hair, that's not dark-skinned woman shit. That... That type of hair, let's be clear. When we talk about historically, yes, the Moors, my ancestors, like, you know, I got my family, right? Yes, the people that lived in America, the so-called Indians and the brown-skinned people, they had hair like lamb's wool. That's nice hair, but it's still thick. That thin hair, like the ones that girl get on their wig, that's white girl hair. That's, that's, that's hair that you're going to see in Russia. You know what I mean? You feel me? And Brazilian. They buying all this Brazilian hair. Brazilian girls 
For the historical facts, so y'all know I ain't just capping. Most of the slaves in the slave trade that did happen, because not all of this shit was true, went to South America. That's why South America has the highest populations of Africans. So all of the women started breeding to be lighter, like their kids, so they wouldn't get treated that way. That's why the Brazilian girls have the closest body compared to the black girls on the planet. <clears throat> you understand? So I want y'all to understand, like, when, when, if we gonna go live and we say like, 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 like Queen says, she was like, we're telling you we love ourselves. You can tell me you love yourself, but actions speak louder than words. You tell me you love yourself, but everything that I see in the, on average, when I go to the store, I see an eight year old, I, I see a 35 year old with some tight shit on. You be like, as a man, we be like, damn, she's sexy. And then I look to my right and I see a 25 year old with on. Then I see a 70 year old with that same shit on, some tight shit. Then I see a fucking nine year old with that shit on. Within five minutes, I'm disgusted. You know what I'm saying? I'm disgusting. It said, it said, well, now we are seeing a change in the community. We are, we are dark skinned sisters are being uplifted. I mean, they now have to make up for dark skinned women. They have now, it's a um, um, band aids for dark skinned women. They now have skin tone brass and undergarments for dark skinned women. And they have books showing the appreciation for dark skinned women. So we are, we are seeing the shift in the narrative and we, uh, and we are seeing our dark skinned sisters stand up for the rise. Stand up, uh, stand up and rise up, I meant. And it was a new movement, I believe, within the next two generations, right? Now, that's our great-grandkids. Let's be logical. From, a, from, a, from on the ground, because I like that statement. I like that statement. On the ground, we talking about 100 years, right? We, you feel me? That's our, in two generations. That's our kids' kids. That's the end of our lifetime. That mean that we failed in our lifetime, right? We're failing in our lifetime. I come up here because at the end of the day, the fact that black women and black men feel like we love ourselves and got to figure it out. Oh, really? So why the fuck all the rappers selling out? Why the fuck all the girls doing all the other shit, stripping, getting butt naked? Why the fuck is it so easy to fuck? Fucking is normal now. It's like, it's like that shit normal. That shit almost disgusts the shit out of me. Like, how shit has changed. You know what I'm saying? That shit is nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because it's been, it's been convinced that in order for a nigga to love, you got to give him his body. Y'all been giving niggas y'all bodies for fucking five generations and niggas still ain't been there. So you have to understand who love you and who don't love you. What conversations is for you and not for you. Right? And, and that's why I say, like, we be, be real. This is facts. I grew up and I know the fact that dark skinned women on a whole do have insecurity issues. It was given to you. This ain't about you being less than... This, the, it was pushed on you. When we grew up in school, when we learned history, if you was black, you learned inferiority. Because in school, it was us sitting in this class and, and like white kids sitting in class. And every story we read about us getting conquered, when we read it, it was like, damn, you ain't shit. Your grandfather was a slave. Y'all ain't fat back. Y'all ain't shit. You learned inferiority. When the white kids read this shit, they was like, yeah, we conquered some shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we learned two different things. Not y'all keep saying things has changed, but what has changed? Y'all make it, so this is why I say that y'all sick, right? For the fact that for black women to sit up here and say that things have changed, that's why we're not getting better. What's changed? We're wearing more wigs and more nails and more fake shit as possible. We grown ups, 30, 40, 50 years old, still dressing like we fucking 25. What has changed? We have digressed from our mothers and our grandmothers. We did not do better. That's y'all miss me with that shit. Miss me. And that's the reason why black men are having, this is the problem. Y'all, everybody's swearing that black men so all, but if y'all feel like it's figured out already, then why the fuck we ain't, oh, why, why are we still oppressed? Right? At, at the end of the day, who give a fuck about us? Who arguing for black men? Nobody. Right? But if y'all got it figured out clearly, so it's no need for, for, for jurors or Willie Walker to come up here and speak about it. Y'all got it figured out. Is if I culture that fucking dying, if I ain't watching every day the inner cities and the outer cities and the small towns dying. Low self-esteem is at an all-time high. Fake titties, fake boobs, you don't love yourself. At the end of the day, you can argue me at the end of the day. Any creator or any guy that you love said the same thing. Do not defile the body, right? If you love yourself, there's no reason to change anything. I'm not talking about tattoos and shit. <coughs> I'm talking about breasts, ass, eyelashes, like... Nature made men got longer eyelashes than women. That's just how nature made it, niggas. You know what I'm saying? On average. So, 
I can't. That's what bothers me. I'm not saying that black women haven't progressed. But we ain't got no time to talk about what the fuck y'all done did. Just like black men, I be in a room with them niggas. I don't give a fuck about what y'all think y'all done did. We dying. And y'all niggas think we doing better. We dying at an all-time high. We sick. Like my man said, yo, when you be live, bro, I be ready to jump through the screen and argue with half of them, but I'm not. I said, why, bro? He said, at the end of the day, he said, at the end of the day, when a person that freed themselves mentally come back and try to have these conversations, and you go back in a room full of six people, everybody in the room gonna say what? He's sick. No. We sick. Right? Because I'm on the stage, like, somebody coming to help you. Right? And everybody in the room got a sickness. But the, the reason why y'all got a sickness because y'all can't, the first cure to a sickness, the first step is identifying that you got a problem. Right? So first I need my sisters and my queens and my black men to recognize that we have a fucking problem. Or we can't get no further because we clearly, we blinded. We got rap music and a little money and stimulus check and PPP loans. Half you niggas is killing me right now. We don't got to figure it out. Black women, you're happy? Then why the fuck is black women and black men at an all-time low? Why marriages don't work? We don't got it all figured out. That's the first mistake. Right? And, and I speak on shit and people get offended with me because I speak straight. I ain't got no extra. When you grew up around all one, I ain't got no extra for you. You can make all, we can talk all excuses. We can talk everything in the world. Whatever. But if you can say that y'all love yourself as a whole, bullshit. And y'all can say that y'all don't got no insecurity issues, bullshit. That's anybody on planet Earth. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying, oh, dark-skinned girls. I'm not saying, oh, dark-skinned girls, you're inferior. You don't have nothing. I'm saying as a dark-skinned man who stand for this shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm a representative of you whether if I'm a man or not because if you know your science and your... See, when people say you might know your history, but you don't know... Listen, to know yourself is to know your history. Because if you're a woman... Let me give you clarity right now. If you're a woman and you and you don't know your history of the last five to 10 to 20, 30,000 years... Then all you understand is the understanding of being a woman in, in, in your lifetime and in the generation before you. You only got 1% of your true genetic code. You got this much. This shit fill up 30 mansions. All you know is that you could be a slave, a servant, corporate worker, a mom, right? That's now. If you don't know the history about Hatshep Soot and Queen Sheba who was rulers, right? Who's, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know your history about the influence of how the, the dark-skinned women created rice and shit so that they men didn't have to hunt. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, I got scientists. To understand on some history shit, on some historical shit, I don't, I don't have no time. Like, see, I'm not into negotiating with terrorists, and mentally, we terrorists to our own minds. We terrorists, you know. The black girls grow up, and when we younger, y'all love the street niggas that's out here tearing shit up. But when you get older, and you have a little boy, and then your little boy, one of the niggas that get their ass tore up in the street, now you feel differently. You know what I mean? Or you a nigga in the street and you tearing shit up and then when it's your son or something like that, you feel me? We have to first recognize that we have a problem. Right? And we first have to recognize that we have insecurity issues and that we do feel inferior on the inside. I don't care what none of us say. Not that we believe it. And I'm speaking as a whole. Growing up, I felt inferior until I realized who I was. Not just me, but my ancestors going back from conquering continents, you know what I'm saying, to navigating the world, to just being understanding who you are. Black men, if your man don't know his history, he can never be but so much because all he knows is what they gave him for what he's seen since he's been alive. Niggas references their TVs. And that's why at the end of the day, if, if, if black women are so, especially the dark skinned ones, we say black women as a whole, if everybody's so confident, then why the fuck y'all following basketball wives, love and hip hop? I see everybody want to live like on TV. Where the maturity at? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool. The question, the crazy part is, when I had these conversations, what I say don't, what I'm saying will, whether it's heard or not, is something that y'all got to take back to your own consciousness and think about. And think about it. If, it. if it bothers you, what I'm saying, just like any conversation, you should sit on it and think about it. And go back to people you respect, like older women you respect as women. Go to some older women who are out of the life, who really have lived right. So you can't go to your homegirls, your mom and your aunt, and they still got the same fucking mentality you got. It don't help. You need to first find some women that are successful that you respect and then go sit down with them and have these same conversations. But see, our problem is they say like, well, a man don't have a right to speak on a woman. Well, a man is the only one that has the right to speak on a woman when it comes down to him, especially when, it's, when we're the one that has to accept you as our women. When we're the one that has to take you home. 
Look at me as a blessing of telling you at the end of the day that this is what it is. This ain't, but I, but y'all gotta feel my points unapologetic. When I'm having a dark skin conversation and the light skin girls come up here, other women from other races come up here and make little slick comments, is is, is very selfish. Right? It don't make you rude because <clears throat> the issue, the issue at hand is a woman issue, right? But it was specifically targeted to the women that I think it affect the most. Right? All women got problems. The, the problem of what we call the white woman, she got her own problems. You know what I'm saying? In her household, her husbands, their families, they have a they're, they're, like every every culture has a set of problems. And we and they differ. Some worse than others in different areas. You know what I'm saying? But a problem's a problem. But it's just like me if I go up and I'm having a conversation with women, Indian women, and then people get up there and I'm talking to Indian women, and they get, well, this is a woman issue, and you being da-da-da, and then I get Indian women come there like I'm a, I'm offended, da-da-da. Well, if I can't talk about it, who can? Because if I, if I ever wake up in the morning time and see a goddamn European man or some other race up here, a nigga like Elijah Muhammad that's not a black man, respectfully, get up here and tell you black man, black woman, God, y'all follow his ass even though he's from the Middle East. Think about that shit. Ain't a lot of people that's going to speak their mind. In this, in this, in this shit... When I, a lot of the posts I read today really, really fucking touched me in my heart for black women to say, we're telling you we love yourself. No, you don't. No, the fuck you don't. No, you don't. And if you do, you you a grain of sand at the beach. And that's a lack of self-recollection. If as a dark-skinned woman in this conversation, if you can't recognize that you're one of the few pieces of sand that is fermented in the marble, and you can't look around the beach and see all the rest of the sand of the women around you, and realize that some of that sand, the rest of the sand around you on whole, Ain't, ain't lined up. See, it, I need the women to step up and check them because they're going to attack me. I need the women to support me because they know that my, it's not about what I'm talking about. It's about my intent. If my intent, if my intent is pure, that's the only thing that matters. Not if, uh, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't see this. Let me tell you why it's such a problem. Keep it funky with me. How many men do y'all see doing this shit? I know. My inbox blowing up like, yo, I ain't even know there was men out there like you because niggas don't know they could be this way. But remember too, why I'm being this way, niggas is judging me. Niggas in the city rap niggas, oh, yo, he's soft, he da-da-da-da. People, yo, I can't fuck with, bro. It's cool. If I lose fans, give me some room in heaven or wherever the fuck I'm going. You know what I mean? Because this ain't it. When I look at hip-hop, I'm disgusted. You know, we, we cool with Lil Nas X and all that shit because clearly we don't give a fuck about the black man and his masculinity. I wake up every morning, they say, yo, toxic masculinity. Do y'all realize if y'all get rid of masculinity, y'all going to die? Any culture of women that don't respect their men will die. Because if they say, if y'all get rid of us with them, when they turn the pistols on y'all, who the fuck going to protect you? Some of our stubborn nature that y'all trying to control is our nature because we rulers just like you. We was never your servants. Because that's what's happened in the last, it was a man's world with our grandfathers. It's a woman's world now. You know what I'm saying? And even with all of the rules, like y'all getting protected more, it still needs more. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Y'all getting more help. Y'all got more assistance. Y'all got more help. You know what I mean? Black men ain't got it. So it's not like we just being fucked up. I was the nigga, like I told you, I was the one in high school. I was homeless. Right? With a 3.7 GPA. And I went everywhere in North Carolina. And they told me in every place, if you was a woman, I could help you. But you're not. There's nothing for you. To understand why niggas go to the streets. And until you as a woman can look. See as a woman you got to be able to look in the mirror. And say yeah black man he fucked up. Ain't no, ain't no question. I ain't going to argue with that. Black man he fucked up on average. But it's a two way street. What did you go pick? Right? Everybody mad at niggas. Your baby father but. Your baby mother but you picked her or him. Right? He said what's funny is that the argument for homosexuals. That changed their sex. <laughs> uh, no, but it's fact. No, I get you. I mean, we so far off. Like, we not standing up for men or uh, black men to have their masculinity. You don't want a black man to have his masculinity. Well, how the fuck we going to fight this war that's coming? How? Like, if, if we, you know, toxic masculinity. Y'all keep it funky. Y'all might not agree with me. But what they call that shit? The women's movement? That shit is... I always say that what's the difference between male supremacy over a woman, chauvinism, and what women are doing today, right? 
What's that movement called? That movement is a female section, you feel me, of chauvinism. If you, let me tell you why. Let me explain. If you, the people in those feminist groups, if, you, if you're going to put the woman in such high regard, then where does the man go? <coughs> right? Where does the man go? Where is he? Where is he? Right? Because in order for a woman in society, tell me, y'all want y'all to speak to me. In order for a woman in society to gain, to gain power in a corporate structure, she has to not be home. The more time you spend at work, the more you're away from your kingdom. The kingdom, everybody knows, except for humans. Everything on this fucking planet knows the true kingdom is the family, the mother, the father, the son, and the child. The Holy Trinity, ma, fa, son, or daughter. That's the Holy Trinity. That's the Holy Trinity. And then y'all been so brainwashed that I be looking at shit and I don't know conscious shit. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, respectfully. Where's the woman? See, we don't ask the right fucking questions. I ain't got no disrespect for Christianity. I'm saying that. Look at what I'm telling you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, where is she? Because the Father and the Son don't exist unless they came out of her fucking belly. Look at this. Look at this logically, even though I know that my people have been conditioned not to look at shit logically because the brain is attached to your eyes. You know what I mean? This is where we have to understand that when I, when I come at this conversation, we have to be real. If the feminist movement is for women, then they're not for men. So they're extremists. Said Jesus was gay. <laughs> I mean, the way that they wrote, the way that, the way that it's depicted, they never mentioned that he had a girlfriend ever. Even though they'd rather call Mary Magdalene a whore instead of saying it was his wife. I'm just saying. But that's what they think of you. They think you're a whore. Let's be real. When it's it, during the translation, they look black women are whores. So they wrote that you're whores. Mary Magdalene was his wife. At the wedding, he turned water to wine. Why? Because where he come from, they did alchemy. Where they had their wedding at, because he was on a run, they were a people that wasn't as intelligent. So he, turned, he took berries and turned water into wine. And niggas think it's a miracle because nobody fucking reads. The Africans had coffee and wine a long time ago. The rest of the planet didn't have it. Right? This, when I speak on a woman, I want you to understand that in order for you to be that nigga in society, the power you fighting for is opposite of what your great, great, great grandmother fought for. She fought for equality. She fought to stand side by side for her man. That's not what we fighting for today. Y'all fighting to, to not just be equal to us. Y'all, are we better? And God damn it, I'm not going to knock y'all women. Y'all work harder. Y'all try harder. You know what I'm saying? This country be fucked up if y'all didn't. Because niggas damn sure ain't been keeping the country together going to work. I'm not capping. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, y'all need to understand that we not weak. Just everything in our body since we nine years old telling us. We tired of niggas telling us what the fuck we should do. We go to work. We work harder than them fucking other boys. And then them niggas be coming down there and wanting us to service for them. We not. Everything in our body tell us we DNA of kings. And some of us, it did come from the DNA of peasants. And it shows. You know what I'm saying? When we look at shit and we say that we progressed, like we progressed as a people, man and woman, I'm putting it together. How? In the 60s and 70s, they did way better than we doing. Black businesses, ownership, won't no PPP. Them niggas had to pray, provide, and protect. That was their PPP. Pray, provide, and protect. And then they used their scraps and saved money the real nigga way and started their businesses. And what do we do? We getting arrested for fraud. Niggas getting $40,000 for companies they ain't even fucking got. Come on, man. But black man, too. If you're going to be the king of the fucking world, you out of pocket, too. Because if you're going to be the biggest thing in the world, you ain't home either. Good fuck if you're a corporate nigga, rap or whatever. But no, no, you have to, you just know that you have to be about your shit. But we ain't got to figure it out. And when I come up here live, I'm going to always go ham. We ain't got to figure it out. I wake up every day and I see niggas dying every fucking day. I see girls getting raped and get kidnapped every fucking day. You know what I'm saying? But we can change some of this shit. You know what I mean? Like, I, I be sitting back and I be looking like I grew up with a lot of people. And then y'all grew up and the women that y'all grew up to be ain't nothing like y'all mamas. Because I, if I grew up with y'all, know y'all mama. Y'all mama raised y'all with respect and morals to have y'all daughters out here looking better than what y'all do. But just a lot of women are still worried about trying to live their life instead of worried about raising that family. And you got time to live your life. 
Look, I'm not one of them people that feel like when you got kids, your life over. Fuck no. But understand that there's a way to do it and go about it. You said, meanwhile, fucking birth certificate and social security numbers are being fucking traded. Right. We woke, though. We got it figured out, but we still call ourselves black. We ain't figured out who the fuck we was for slavery. Fuck what I said it was, but period. We got it all figured out, but 90% of the niggas on this live can't tell me how we became slaves. The proper story from, from, the, from the beginning to the end. We got it all figured out when we can, can anybody tell me about, you know what I'm saying, what happened in Spain between the Moors and Europe and how that relates to what happened in America. We ain't got it figured out. BH.